very good evening to the respected chairperson and jury members and to all of you so today the topic of my poster presentation is the accuracy of the eyewitness description so uh, first i would like to begin with what is eyewitness description so when any crime happens then the police officers request witness to provide verbal descriptions of the suspect now such descriptions provide critical information that the police use throughout an investigation for the identification of possible suspect uh, the eyewitness description can vary from selection of photographs uh, construction of sketches or the composites that may be distributed to the general public sometimes the uh, description of the person are often accurate and sometimes they also lack sufficient detail to single out an individual suspect uh, now if i talk about the uh, quality and quantity of the eyewitness description so there are uh, numerous studies that have examined that the witness provide an accurate general impression of the uh, general impression of the culprit but they often fail to include more specific facial details like the information provided uh, by them often fail to identify suspect's face in any kind a um, witness generally provide characteristics such as gender race age of the person or maybe height weight but more specific facial features like eye color uh, hair color style they are rarely mentioned by any witness so as we can see in the first image also of the poster the original face of a person is far different from the described face details of a same person by any witness because uh, there are so many factors that can uh, that can witness description accuracy Uh, some of the research also suggests that there are some cognitive and the social psychological disorders uh, factors which occur around the time of the critical event uh, when the uh, when the witness interacts with or view the perpetrator for example the low level of illumination or the uh, the witness under the influence of any type of drugs or alcohol the second factor could be the subset of uh, may occur between the time of the encoding and the retrieval of the description like for example the longer delay in taking the description after the crime it often lead to reduce the quality of the description so the other factor could be the certain characteristics of the witness that can influence the quality of his or her the uh, the witness description so the accuracy of the eye witness also depends on the interview technique of the officer so uh, there are different methods like filling the checklist or the verbal statements or the free recall so probably the most common method for obtaining the person description is simply to ask the witness to freely describe what they remember uh, about the suspect so it's a very common practice to ask more direct question and the follow up questions about specific features like uh, like do you remember if he had the facial hair or maybe uh, do you remember if he had short hair or long hair but such leading questions can be very dangerous also sometimes as they can misinform a witness original memory for the suspect so uh, some of the research on on the feature checklist techniques similarly suggest that providing the witness with numerous descriptors uh, regarding a face can create confusion in their memory and uh, and and it can lead them to report the presence of features that they are actually unsure of uh, the the witness to a crime are often asked to describe the suspect many times over the course of an investigation so the research suggests that this process of the repeated retrieval can have both positive and the negative effects on the eye witness uh, if we talk about the positive side then repeated recalling of the information has been shown to lead increase in recalled information and to offer some protection to the memory trace while uh, considering the negative side then incorrect details generated during the early time are get repeated recalled over time with increased confidence so in the research literatures the relationship between the description and the identification accuracy has not been demonstrated consistently so researchers have uh, demonstrated that asking the participants to provide a verbal description of a face can actually impair their ability to identify that face from a photograph a uh, relationship between the description and the identification of the faces uh, appears possible that both memory tasks rely on a common underlying mental representation and also function on the basis of the independent processing orientations so uh, with this uh, i would like to conclude that this research i would say the accuracy of the eyewitness description can vary from case to case depending on the different factors of an eyewitness so thank you and i hope you will all like it